Project Neon is changing traffic patterns and a neighborhood is trying to stop resulting speeders themselves. Yeah, 13 Action News reporter Parker Collins is live near Oki and Rancho with what they are doing. Parker? Beth and Dana, if you get off of Oki and start driving on the Birch, that's this side street, one of the first things you'll see, it's right over here in the front yard, slow down. This is just one of several homemade speed limit signs. People over here are trying to solve a problem themselves. They don't care if, if I'm standing here or if I'm crossing the street. It's like they don't. They'll look at you, but they don't they don't care about the speed limit. Cut through these streets and you'll see a heartfelt plea. 25 uh, maybe looks a little bit uh, too slow for them, but you know, they uh, they don't care, you know. Some are funny. Slow down, bro. But the message is serious. They were just tearing down our streets and then they would try to get out onto Rancho. That was a concern. People who live here say cars on Oki are trying to skip the light at Rancho and drive through their neighborhood well over the speed limit to cut across over to Rancho, closer to Sahara. Project Neon is pushing more and more drivers onto side streets like this. The city put out these signs trying to keep through traffic out, but if you want something done right, you usually have to do it yourself. Those have definitely helped, sometimes yelling at people. <laughs> the city signs are out right now, and people over here say it is kind of helping, but as long as Project Neon is going on, this is still probably going to remain an issue, Beth and Dana. Yeah, never a good situation. Thanks so much, Parker.